Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more F1 Manager 2022 and another part of our Aston Martin career mode. Today we are back with the Baku Grand Prix in uh, Azerbaijan. Always a dramatic Grand Prix this one. Looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are good and are enjoying the series. Thank you so much yesterday for all of the likes, uh, all of the nice comments um for re returning to the series i really do appreciate it so uh, if we could hit 50 likes again that would be amazing um every like really does help with uh getting this series back out there back into the recommendations of people so we can all enjoy it again and, and enjoy our journey with aston martin i uh, had a couple of comments yesterday asking uh, when are we gonna be moving to mclaren in this save and uh i I can't remember confirming that I was going to move to McLaren. Uh, certainly, that uh, was in my mind as, as what the plan is. Um, and I think we're going to do it in this series. There is a way to do it. I will do a tutorial at some point. Um, but yes, you can you can change te teams. It is a little bit complicated, but there, there is a way. Um, and uh, I think at the end of this season, that's where we are going to be going. I think we need to to finish the story with Aston Martin. Um, we've absolutely turned them into a, a dominating team in this era of Formula One. And uh, they're going to be very, very tough to stop going forward. And that's going to be the, the premise of the, the sort of new journey that we will come to at the end of this season. I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are too. Um, if you look at the constructors' standings at the moment, McLaren in, in eighth place and they've very much struggled over the last few years to uh to develop their car and, and get anywhere near where they should be you know whereas alpine have pushed on and are now the third best team uh mclaren very much haven't done that um despite the best 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 efforts of lando norris and uh, valerie bottas who have both had you know decent seasons individually but uh yeah, they're, they're not quite there, and that's certainly where we want to, to be going next season, I think, for season five of this series. Quite unbelievable, uh, to be honest. But uh, without further ado, let's get ourselves immersed into the action. Uh, Carlos Sainz has a development point, so let's increase his smoothness. Um, he is catching up to Lewis in terms of his uh, development, which is great. Oscar Piastri doing a, a good job as well. He's 81 rated, potentially somebody that we could take to McLaren with us. Um, I'd love to, to keep Lando Norris there. Um, one thing I do want to do is start researching next year's car. I know we've said we're not going to develop this year's, but uh, let's do what we were always going to do for... Um, for Aston Martin for next season because it, it sort of it doesn't seem fair if we just stop uh, developing next year's car and then leave them in the lurch. So we are going to research um, heavily like we normally would and hopefully hopefully we'll uh, we'll see that next year's car is, is very good and you know, obviously moving on to our next year. We're not going to have anything to do with McLaren's car next season. Of course, we'll be able to develop it at uh, the start of next year, but we're not going to be able to research next year's car for McLaren. So, you know, that's going to come up with its own challenge. You know, next year is, is going to be very much a transition year, isn't it? So... Yeah, really looking forward to it, but uh, we've still got a championship to win, even though it looks like we are going to absolutely smash it with Aston Martin this year. It could well go very wrong. Uh, the Tour Centre needs refurbishing. Cool. What else? So we've got a finance report. We've got a wind tunnel in poor condition as well. Uh, let's upgrade it. 27 million. Why not? Let's get that upgraded. Uh, board confidence check-in, so they're pretty happy with us. Zach O'Sullivan is apparently a, a guy with a lot of potential. We'll refurbish the helipad as well. Okay, cool. Right, I think we're ready and raring to go then. Uh, once again, we'll promise a, a top two finish. And of course, we're going to make it through to Q2. 
race targets we will promise uh, one two and uh, we've got that for the race streak as well right okay then let's get ourselves into the uh, Baku Grand Prix just looking at tyre choices it looks like we might want to keep some soft tyres back so we'll uh, head through to Q2 after Dave Croft has done his spiel Hello from Baku, where we're looking forward to a weekend of racing among the medieval and the modern, here at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Drivers will be battling it out on the streets of the Baku city circuit, a real contradiction of a track. From the long main straights, where the less drag the better, to the tight turns, where downforce is a necessity. Teams are going to have to work hard to get that balance right. The season is about halfway through, and it makes me wonder, what else is in store for the teams? Well, there's only one way to find out. Stay right here, because we're just getting started. Okay, then. Uh, we are ready and raring to go with Aston Martin. Um, Carlos Sainz is going to miss out on FP1 this time, and Oscar Piastri gets his a little run in FP1. And I'll see you guys for qualifying. Well, we do seem very, very quick this weekend, and uh, Carlos Sainz will certainly be happy. 100% setup confidence for him, 91% for Lewis Hamilton. Uh, let's get ourselves into Q1, see how we get on in that session. And, uh, well, there you go, 1 and 2. Lewis Hamilton looking particularly quick this weekend, and I think that's very interesting, really, because it's been so neck and neck between the two drivers this season but in the last couple of Grand Prix Hamilton is starting to take control yep, all good. so let's uh, let's push on to about halfway through the session and then we'll send our boys out on the used soft tyres looking to try and get through on those used tyres after the Mercedes, we'll send out Mezzas Carlos Sainz and Lewis Hamilton. So Hamilton will go out after the Haas there, and that looks like a nice little play a bit of track for the seven time world champion. Meanwhile, Carlos Sainz, let's uh, hop on board with him. A little bit of a disrupted start to his lap, but I think he should be okay. So now Carlos Sainz starts his flying lap. Max Verstappen is quickest at the moment. Vettel currently third. Magnussen down in ninth. Interesting to see that the Alpines separated by so much. And here comes Carlos Sainz past one of the Alpines. And let's see how Lewis Hamilton's getting on. He's just about to start his lap. There's a Haas car in front of him, I think. That Haas is coming into the pits. So here comes Carlos Sainz through the first sector. What are we going to see here? Is it going to be green? Yep, it is green. Or perhaps it could be purple, but... No luck for Sainz there. Now, Lewis Hamilton, in theory, should be slightly quicker in this first sector. So he's had a, a largely un interrupted first sector Carlos Sainz meanwhile is probably going to catch up to the Mercedes of Gasly as Hamilton comes through this first sector what's he going to manage a 34.728 which is purple funnily enough and purple middle sector for Carlos Sainz that's where our car really shines and now Signs coming through. Oh no, he had to he had to pull up a little bit there. That could put Carlos Signs under pressure. Carlos Signs is coming up to the line. Lost his momentum all the way, and here he comes. It's a 142.1, which only puts him in sixth place. And I don't think that is going to be enough to get through. To Q3, so Carlos Sainz is going to have to come out again. Lewis Hamilton, meanwhile, purple in sectors one and two, and nobody out on track ahead of him. 
So here he comes then. Lewis Hamilton up to towards the line. Wants to be in the low 41s, if not into the 40s. And here he comes then. Across the line, Lewis Hamilton. And that's a 41.221, which is half a tenth quicker than Max Verstappen. Remember, on used tyres, Zhou Guan Yu has uh, popped up into fourth place. Very good lap time for him. Vettel fifth, signs, uh, sorry, Leclerc in sixth, signs in seventh, Ricardo eighth, Mick Schumacher in ninth for Haas at the moment, and Perez rounding out the top ten. The two Mercedes cars down in 14th and 15th, not good for them. Both McLarens are out at the moment as well, and Kevin Magnussen um, is out in 12th. So Carlos Sainz is in. As I say, I think we're going to have to change tack here um, yeah, we might just have to try and guarantee it with brand new tyres we can't risk him going out in Q2 so he's going to head out now He's come out just ahead of Zhou Guan Yu as well, so he's not even the last man out. Lewis Hamilton, I think, easily through. So, yeah, Sainz is not going to have two runs at it, unfortunately. Or, sorry, he's not going to have... Um, Two sets of brand new soft, soft tyres. Obviously we'll still only do one run in, in Q3, but he's not going to have any new tyres for the race. Purple first sector for Carlos Sainz. That's exactly what he wants. Now what he doesn't want is to get too close uh, session is over. to Pierre Gasly ahead. It's Pierre Gasly, is it? No, it's George Russell actually. Yes, the Mercedes cars definitely in trouble in this session. Definitely slow, and you can see how much quicker Carlos Sainz is than the car in front. Bottas goes seventh. That was Magnussen up into P3. Verstappen, by the way, has gone quicker than Hamilton. Norris into the top ten. Perez into the top ten. So Sainz needs to make this count now. Norris doesn't make it through. Mick Schumacher makes it into the top ten. What about the two Mercedes cars? We've got Pierre Gasly. He comes through at only 14th. What about Russell? Can he make it through? Oh, Russell's gone fifth as Sainz goes through and he goes fastest. Wow. Well, that means that Sergio Perez is out in Q2 in the Ferrari. Carlos Sainz went quickest right at the end there. And that was an exciting end to Q2. Uh, going out in this session then, Sergio Perez, Mick Schumacher, both McLarens and Pierre Gasly who is continuing to really, really struggle in that Mercedes car. Uh, a long way off his teammate, you know, seven tenths off George Russell. That is huge. Um, what a gap that is. But yeah, both Alpines through. The Haas of Zhou Guan Yu looking very, very fast. And it's going to be Carlos Sainz versus Lewis Hamilton for pole position. Radio check, radio check. Yep, yeah, all good. I'm going to wait until the very last moment. Well, who's going to get pole position here? Zhou Guan Yu is going to be the first up to the line. He does a 141-1. Russell goes up. Only P2. Ricardo P3. Verstappen takes pole ahead of Ocon. Magnussen goes P3. What about Vettel P5? So Zhou Guan Yu currently in fourth. What a time from him. And now it's going to be up to our guys. And hopefully both of them will manage to usurp the Red Bulls. 
going to be pretty close though. There goes Sainz, there goes Hamilton. So Hamilton on his one and only run of course. And we'll watch the seven time world champion as he tries to take his fifth pole position of the season. He's very much the last man over the line. First man over the line is going to be George Russell. Is anybody improving out there? A couple of people, Zhou Guan Yu and uh, Charles Leclerc, are improving. And Zhou Guan Yu is stuck behind one of the Alpines, so I'm not sure he's going to get much joy through the middle sector as Carlos Sainz goes purple in sector one. And here we come then, we come up to the line, it's George Russell, he's going to be over the line first, is he going to improve? No he doesn't, what about the Red Bulls? Verstappen goes over the line, does not improve, what about Ocon? Ocon does not improve either, so nobody's improving out there, signs quicker than Hamilton as it stands. So then, Carlos Sainz comes round the final main corner. Kevin Magnussen over the line, he doesn't improve. What about Ricardo? No. Same for Val. What about uh, Zhou Guan Yu? No, couldn't keep his improvement all the way. So now it's up to our two drivers. It's Carlos Sainz. He's going to be coming up to the line. He's purple in both sectors. One and two. Carlos Sainz comes up to the line. Is he going to take pole position? Yes, he does. Just about half a tenth. Ahead of Max Verstappen, Lewis Hamilton though, he's following. Can Lewis Hamilton steal pole position from his teammate? He comes up to the line. What's it going to be? It's a 41 flat as well and that goes P2. And he is just seven thousandths of a second behind his teammate. But it is Carlos Sainz who takes pole position for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Fantastic. That is what you want to see. Three drivers within half a tenth of a second. That is huge. It's race day with the teams and drivers ready and raring to go. We saw a magnificent display of talent from Aston Martin during qualifying. This is as good a grid for them as anyone can hope for. This weekend, Red Bull displayed promise during qualifying. Now they need to capitalize on their grid position and get a good race under their belts. And the race will be taking place under blue skies. That means the teams should be able to apply their strategies without any added complications. Well, whatever happens, it's sure to be a tremendous race day here at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Well then, uh, we are ready. And raring to go. Um, of course, we're expecting to maybe use a one-stop strategy. I think Hamilton, though, potentially goes for the alternate strategy. I think we've said, um, or I've seen somebody say in the comments section, uh, go for the one-stopper with your, your lead driver, whoever qualifies on pole. Go for the alternate strategy for the other driver, just to mix it up a little bit. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. Because... Uh, That'll give Lewis Hamilton a little bit more creative license. It'll allow him to use his um, soft tyres as well. His brand new soft tyres that he's got towards the end of the Grand Prix. He's going to be uh, fairly aggressive to start off with. Let me actually go a little bit further here. Yes, he can. So he can go a little bit further. And then absolutely go for it towards the end of the race. I think that's what you want to do. Yeah, let's go for that. Yeah, I like it. I like it. And that gives him a really good chance later on in the race. He's going to be a bit more aggressive to start out with. Have a bit more tyres to play with. So, of course, we'll be... Pushing hard from the start, as well, Carlos Sainz. But here we go then, into the race for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. 
of 2025. Here we go. As the sun continues to shine, it seems like nothing can dampen the mood of excitement here at the track. Taking a look here at Carlos Sainz. They're starting today at the head of the pack, but will they be able to stay there? Looking down the grid, it's Hamilton. After an impressive qualifying performance, they're starting today just behind pole. Everything's been building to this. Here we go then. This is what you've been waiting for. It's the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And it's lights, lights out. out. Oh, here we and go. Away we go. Carlos Sainz gets off the grid well. Can Lewis Hamilton challenge him into turn one? No, he can't, but he holds off Max Verstappen. Carlos Sainz leads after the first couple of corners. Lewis Hamilton is in second. Max Verstappen following in third at the moment. And he is on soft tyres. So, very interesting start of the Grand Prix. Carlos Sainz trying to get away. And obviously DRS is going to be a massive thing in this race. I think we're going to see a red flag today. Uh, I'm calling it now. I think we're going to see one. As uh, Carlos Sainz still leading the way. Lewis Hamilton is chasing in second place. Max Verstappen in third. But we're trying to get more than a second ahead of Max Verstappen here so that DRS does not become an issue. We, of course, know that Max Verstappen is on the soft tyres as well. So he's going to be doubly quick behind. As Carlos Sainz still leading the way in this race. Lewis Hamilton still chasing behind and doing a really, really good job of it as well. So Lewis Hamilton right in the slipstream of Carlos Sainz. Is he going to be able to make the move up into turn one? That's going to be the question here. And they fly down this one kilometre straight. Right now, Lewis Hamilton pulls out of the slipstream. What is going to happen here? Is Lewis Hamilton going to go for it? Let's hop on board with him now. Is he going to go down the inside? Lewis Hamilton has a little look. Is there going to be contact? I don't think so. Lewis Hamilton is going to go down the inside. And Lewis Hamilton now leads this Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Or does he? Because Carlos Sainz is coming back. He looks ever so slightly quicker on the straights. But Hamilton's got the inside line. They're still side by side here. And we're going to go neutral for both of them. On the ERS deployment. Lewis Hamilton is finally, I think, going to get through here. Although Sainz stays down the inside. Woohoo! This is close. This is very close. Now, what this is allowing... Uh, to happen is Max Verstappen is closing up now then now then boys you've got to be careful going into this and Hamilton very sensibly uh, stays behind going into the, the castle section he needed to there because uh, Carlos Sainz would have squeezed him into the wall of that I have no doubt well 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 what a start to this Grand Prix this is exactly what you want to see Max Verstappen right behind though and he's going to be trying to stay with these guys throughout this first stint. Now then. Carlos Sainz still leading the way. Lewis Hamilton in second there. He's now pushing hard. And of course Lewis Hamilton will have DRS on this lap so wants to probably stay behind Carlos Sainz for now. DRS is enabled. DRS is definitely enabled now, and Lewis Hamilton will have DRS here. Is he going to make the move on Carlos Sainz? It doesn't look like he is.
time to zoom it through, but then Max Verstappen is closing in a little bit here. And it's going to turn it into a three horse race, you would imagine. Let's have a little look at tyre selections. Most people on the medium tyres. Quite a few down the order on those soft tyres. Can Lewis Hamilton get past him here? You would imagine Lewis Hamilton will make the move. Max Verstappen is closing in here. We can't afford Max Verstappen getting within DRS. So here comes Lewis Hamilton then with DRS down the one kilometre straight. You would imagine he should be able to get past. He pulls out to the outside now and makes the move. What a move that is for Lewis Hamilton. He is through and into the lead of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Now, the problem is Max Verstappen is right there as well. And Carlos Sainz coming back at his teammate. Is he going to go down the inside here? I don't think so. And then Lewis Hamilton does have a little bit more tyres. He can go a little bit more aggressive at this early stage. We can try and build that gap. We don't want to leave Carlos Sainz vulnerable. He's going any aggr more aggressive being helpful to Lewis it doesn't really appear to be so Max has successfully closed in and this could be a moment where Max gets both the drivers here Here we go. Onto the straight. Lewis Hamilton leading the way. Carlos Sainz in second. Max Verstappen in third. They're going to have DRS. Ocon is in fourth. He's almost out of the one second window to Magnussen. Not quite though. That is fastest lap. Fastest lap for Lewis Hamilton. Now then, Max Verstappen biding his time. Look at this. DRS enabled for Carlos. DRS enabled for Verstappen. Lewis Hamilton seems to be able to cope though. Now then, time to zoom it through a little bit. I think we know that they're going to exchange positions quite a lot here. Let's see. Potentially the first of them here. Lewis does look marginally quicker. Than Carlos. But um, obviously with DRS it does bring you well back in. Magnussen up to fourth now. and It's amazing. Ocon nearly escaped the one second window. That's how important it is. The DRS round here, and there goes Carlos Sainz. He is through and back into the lead of this Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton manages to defend from Max Verstappen. The question is, is Lewis Hamilton going to be able to get back past Carlos Sainz? Otherwise, he's going to be vulnerable to Max Verstappen. So here we go then, Lewis Hamilton with DRS he's closing in ok that was a purple lap I'll let you know if the situation changes he is closing in but not quite managed to get past again he's 
Got a great chance down the back straight here. There we go, Lewis Hamilton is through. Now, need to defend from Max Verstappen because Verstappen's having a look around the outside. And now, side by side with Carlos Sainz, his former teammate. Who is going to come out on top in this battle? You would say probably Max Verstappen. But now, who is going to come down the inside here? This is huge. Sign still in the lead. Verstappen still there. And now they come towards the castle section, and Verstappen is ahead. Full concentration, anything can happen still. Now, I think we need to push with Lewis. We need to try and get him away from Max Verstappen here. If he can get more than a second in front, that would help Carlos Sainz his race. Yep, and he's managed to do that. So now, Lewis, here's your chance. You need to go and attack on these tyres for a couple of laps. And that's exactly what he's going to do. So Lewis Hamilton, of course on a two-stop strategy, so needs to be more aggressive. There goes Carlos Sainz. You had to pass this lap. And looks like he's passed uh, Max okay. Verstappen now, but Max Verstappen still side by side Six with Sainz. Come on, mate. Now let's try and defend from Max looks Verstappen. Like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Looks like he's gonna manage it. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. I'm trying to zoom it through. I'm going to go neutral on that. So I'm nearly three seconds in front of Carlos Sainz. And attacking those tyres, that's what he needs to do though. Because he is being the aggressor. Now can signs defend from Max Verstappen here. He's doing his best. Verstappen trying to pull to the inside. Doesn't manage it. I'm going to drop that down to aggressive. The next lap, we're going to try and defend with Carlos Sainz once again here. This is very good straight line speed from the Spaniard. This now very much still in front of. Max Verstappen. Now, Lewis is going to come in five laps earlier than Carlos Sainz, which is why he's allowed to push at this stage. Now, could we tell Sainz to hold up Max Verstappen? Could right now on to defend duty. Oh, there's uh, safety car, safety car deployed. What has happened? Is it uh, yes? It's Nicholas Latifi. He's in the wall. So Lewis Hamilton, I think, is going to come in this lap. I know it's a bit early, but. But I think that's what we're going to do. Safety car, safety car. Keep the delta positive. So Lewis is in. I think that was a crash. Let's see what happened there. Uh, car now. at uh, now let's look. Nicholas You're Latifi. Nicholas Latifi. Oh, the crash. that's a really poor crash, isn't it? 
when Nicholas Latifi is out. So Hamilton in. Need to take advantage of safety car periods when you're on a two-stop strategy. Is he going to come out in front of Seb Vettel? I think he is, you know. He's coming around now. Yep, he is through. So that's huge for Lewis Hamilton. But it could cost him. You never know. Carlos Sainz leads the race now. And Hamilton is going to have to conserve a bit more. Because he's had to come in, a, you know, three or four, five laps earlier than he'd planned. And that is pretty huge. But the big question is going to be, is he going to be able to make his way easily past the likes of Magnus and Ocon and Joe? Or is he going to lose shared loads of time behind those guys? Safety car is in this lap. Safety car in this lap. And we'll push. Push with both of our guys now. So pick up the pace. I am surprised Max Verstappen oh, did not come into the pits. Was a surprise to me because uh, his tyres aren't looking great. So here we go then with uh, Carlos Sainz. He is going to be the one leading us away here. Safety car is approaching the pit lane entry. Okay, pit lane. Yeah. And Carlos Sainz now goes for it. Max Verstappen caught napping a little bit because Zhou Guan Yu potentially is going to make a move here. Is Lewis Hamilton going to have a little look as well? Let's have a little look on board of Lewis Hamilton and the hard tyres, remember. We'll need to take those tyres a fairly long way. Carlos Sainz defending from Max Verstappen and seems to have got off to a good start with that as Lewis Hamilton having a look down the inside of Kevin Magnussen that turns into the outside line this is huge for Lewis he needs to make this move stick and it looks like he has done that is brilliant from the seven time world champion such an awesome job mate and now he's chasing after Esteban Ocon would love to Dearly love to get past Esteban Ocon Martin, on this lap. Moved up a place. Um, well, signs already 1.6 ahead of Max Verstappen. That's what he needed. That is what he needed. And now Hamilton already preparing to make a move on Esteban Ocon. You can see how much time he's got. Hamilton. Looking very, very racy out there, isn't he? Right. One down to neutral on the deployment. Gonna do the same with Carlos Sainz. He's pulled out a 2.3 second advantage. That's what he needed to do on Max Verstappen. Now Verstappen and Joe, they'll surely be coming into the pits very, very soon. Not this lap, though. This is where Hamilton needs to be careful. Can't afford to lose a front wing. So let's zoom it forward. Now 
this Max Verstappen going to come in this lap? DRS has been enabled. No. So DRS enabled. Now is Lewis going to be able to make it past Zhou Guan Yu here? DRS is enabled and he is making the move and look at that he's made it past not only Ocon but also Zhou Guan Yu and that is what you call absolute brilliance and he's within a second of Max Aston Verstappen Martin took a chance and it's paid off and now Max Verstappen well let's have a look at his tyres they're going to drop below 50% this lap so Hamilton is going to be in a really, really solid position. So the safety car definitely played into Hamilton's hands. Carlos Sainz still. He's got about eight laps until he's going to come into the pits. But of course, Lewis Hamilton will have to stop again in this race. I mean, technically he could take those tyres all the way. He's not going to do that, of course. Um, but we want to... We want to allow Lewis to be able to be aggressive right towards the end of this race. So... He is going to be coming in on around about lap 43. So a, a long time for Hamilton. Just yet. Here we go then. Hamilton right in the gearbox of Max Verstappen. He's going to have him here. DRS enabled. And Max Verstappen is into the pit lane. So that has worked out perfectly for Lewis. Verstappen is in. So Hamilton four seconds behind Carlos Sainz. Sainz has got uh, about eight laps until his pit stop. Lewis Hamilton a long time yet before that. So Carlos Sainz leads the way. Hamilton in second. Ocon third. Then Joe Guan Yu is in fourth place with Magnussen and Vettel in fifth and sixth. Ricardo in seventh, um, although a load of people have come into the pits that lap, so it is constantly changing. Verstappen currently in tenth and uh, potentially could get stuck behind Zhou Guan Yu at uh, Yuki Tsunoda. Because Tsunoda is going to have decent straight line speed. Looks like Verstappen is going to just make it easily through. But does Sonoda make it back through with DRS? Very nearly. Can he stay within a second? I don't think so. No. Sonoda's now dropped off. But Hamilton closing in on Carlos Sainz. We knew this was going to happen. Carlos Sainz now, I, th I think, has to be aggressive. Everything you've got. Lewis Hamilton has DRS, goodness me. That's uh, escalated pretty quickly, and here comes Lewis Hamilton then. Goodness me, Lewis Hamilton is uh, rapid behind, and Lewis Hamilton takes the lead of this Azerbaijan Grand Prix. So let's think about the liftoff. Yeah, all good. So let's give it a, a little while. I would imagine Science is going to make it back through here. DRS enabled. Hamilton pulls to the inside. And there goes Carlos Sainz. Not managing it this time. But does make it past that time. Now, let's have a look. Gap to lead it. Max Verstappen only 22. Uh, looks like quite a big gap. Somebody is uh, in the wall. Is it going to be... Is it... Who is in the wall? Yeah, we 
I don't know, so perhaps stay out there now. I was going to bring signs in, but I was bot ass. I think he's okay. So, a couple of more laps for Carlos Sainz. Who's now dropped out of the one second window to Lewis. But now will come in, put on the hard tyres. And should be fine until the end of the race. But advantage Hamilton at the moment. So he's going to have the track position. Where is Sainz going to come back out? Potentially in front of Ocon. It's going to be behind Verstappen, I think. <coughs> Let's see. This is this is going to be pretty tense. Are we going to have Max Verstappen ahead of Carlos Sainz? Could happen. Here we go then. Carlos Sainz is in. Going to be on much fresher tyres than Max, but he is going to be behind as uh, Sebastian Vettel assumes second position in the Grand Prix. Carlos signs away. And there's Max Verstappen coming round turn one now. And Max Verstappen does jump Carlos signs, but uh, that couldn't have really worked out better for Carlos because I think he's going to be able to easily get past Max Verstappen and should be able to float up to the back of Sebastian Vettel the big question will be is Max Verstappen going to stop again his tyres look like 85% at the moment so I'll zoom it through Hamilton leading the way. So Carlos signs now with DRS. Should be able to make the move quite easily. Nope, doesn't quite manage it there, but should get him on the next straight. So we're going to push the engine a little bit here. We do not require any fuel lift off. We'll deploy the ERS as well, just to make sure he gets past. Doesn't look like he's going to here. So we'll scrap that for another lap. We do require fuel lift off. Okay. So here we go, this should be Carlos Sainz easily through this time. He needs to pull to the outside here, he's trying to stick with the slipstream for as long as possible. Well here we go, DRS enabled. And now needs to stay ahead. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Just charge the pack. Uh, okay. There's Max Verstappen trying to make the move, but I think signs easily through now. There's Hamilton heading towards the, the castle section. Find no point in charging the pack anymore there. Stop the charge. So I just charge that pack. Yep. So Lewis Hamilton leads this Azerbaijan Grand Prix by 21 seconds or so 
of course, is going to have soft tyres towards the end of the race. So we're expecting Carlos to get that down to probably about 10 seconds. Lewis Hamilton comes in and then starts pumping in the times. And it, it should, hopefully, lead to an exciting conclusion to this Grand Prix. That's the plan anyway. But uh, who knows? Lewis Hamilton just trying to harvest his energy a little bit. Stop a charge. I think uh, let's try and push on a little bit with Carlos and get out of that one second window to Max Verstappen. And there we go, he has managed it now. Copy. Oh, but Max has got ERS behind him and it looks like Max is... Is he going to be within DRS range? Going to be very close. I think he is, so. Yep. Hamilton, meanwhile, still pushing at the, the front of the race. And Verstappen actually is back past signs. Let's harvest for a little while with Carlos. And then we'll give him a big push in a, a couple of laps time. Red Bull moved up. Hamilton, meanwhile, nearly there with his harvesting. Should give him plenty to have a go at later on. So, no need to charge the pack. Now, if he can stay ahead of Max here. Simply lovely. That should be enough. And yep, I think he will. So, he should have enough deployment to take him more than a second ahead. That's exactly what he does. So now we we should have the one two in the bag because I don't think Max Verstappen is going to be pitting again in this race. And Carlos Sainz has already got better tyres than him. He's already ahead of him. And I don't think Verstappen is going to have anything to fight with. So we should have the one two in the bag. Now it's all going to be about Lewis Hamilton and what he can do looking after his car. Go back on the balance now uh, for tough. Carlos. Yep. That was uh, the fastest lap. lap. Time to push on a little bit. So, 21 laps to go in this Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton has got around about another 11 laps on these hard tyres until he's going to come in and put on the soft tyres for the final few laps. Sounds like we've had a spin. And Max Verstappen spun, actually. What Let's happened to Max Verstappen? That has definitely Red took him out of the race. Oh dear, oh dear, yeah, oh dear. A little bit lucky. The car's just gone. I don't know who caused a big accident there. But now Carlos signs in a world of his own in second place. Probably do with harvesting his uh, ERS a little bit here. While he's got a gap to Verstappen, let's get his pack charged up. I think Esteban Ocon is perhaps quicker than Max Verstappen at this stage of the race. Which is definitely interesting. Oh, safety car, safety car deployed. Now then, now then. 16 laps to go. Does He does have... And Lewis has to come in. Safety car, safety car. Is it worth... Keep the delta positive. Signs coming in. 
Well, he will come back out in fifth. I think we have to bring them both in. We've had a big crash here. So Stroll has crashed. He's brought out the safety car. It's Lance Stroll. Yeah, big lock up. Oh, oh nasty, crash. nasty little crash there for Lance Stroll. So Hamilton is going to be coming in. Science is going to be doing the same. So I think Science is going to come out behind Ocon, but probably ahead of Joe Guan Yu. It's going yeah, to be pretty close. Okay. Yes, to give both drivers a, a fair shot at it. I think that's what we needed to do. So Hamilton might well be back out in the lead here. And I think Hamilton is back out in the lead, believe it or not. Well out in the lead. And there goes Carlos Sainz. He has just dropped behind... Zhou Guan Yu, but he's going to have so much fresher tyres that he should be okay. But yeah, I didn't really want... Although I suppose Carlos would have still finished second, but I want to give him the, the chance to fight with Lewis, really. And they're both on the same tyres now. We had to make that decision, I think, for Carlos. I'm surprised others haven't come in, to be honest. I think uh, we'll see the likes of Verstappen really struggling by the end of this race. I think these tyres should last fairly easily to the end of the race. Safety car in. And think about the shifting coast. So Lewis Hamilton is going to lead us away. Prep ourselves for a push. Copy that. But who is going to come out on top here? Is it going to be Lewis? Or is it going to be Carlos Sainz? There's not much between them. Sainz is going to have to make inroads very, very quickly through this field. He should do that on brand new medium tyres. He should be able to do it. Lewis Hamilton pulling away already from Max Verstappen. And Carlos Sainz potentially caught napping a little bit there from Kevin Magnussen. As uh, Sainz tries to have a look down the inside, doesn't manage it, but Lewis Hamilton leading this Grand Prix. Now then, Carlos Sainz, we are trying to get him past Zhou Guan Yu here. Come on, Carlos. No, it doesn't look like it's going to happen as Lewis Hamilton is leading the way. So Carlos Sainz now is going to go down the inside. And he does go down the inside. Very good manoeuvre there from Carlos. Simply lovely. Come on, mate. Now he needs to get past Aston these two. With a great play there. Very, They've very quickly. But ultimately, because of the safety cars, I, I don't think there's any way for Carlos Sainz to win this race now. Because if we'd kept him out there, he'd have been, although he'd have been ahead of uh, Lewis, Lewis would have been on the, the brand new medium tyres and would have made the overtake, so that was never really going to work. And this was the only way to give them equal opportunity 
Anyway, Ocon is potentially going to be having a look at Max Verstappen here. And Verstappen... Oh, I thought left. Verstappen was in there. He wasn't. It just looks like Ocon is perhaps going to go around the outside of his teammate. And he does have a little look as Carlos Sainz tries the old switcheroo there now. He goes down the middle of the Red Bulls. This is huge. What a move that is from Carlos Sainz. He is up in the second position now. But six Fantastic seconds work. behind his teammate. I want to look at the last lap. Goodness me, a 44-5 from Lewis. And only a 49 from Sainz and the rest. Lewis Hamilton absolutely pelting it away out front. And looking very, very good doing it. Carlos Sainz, we need to get him more than a second ahead of Ocon. What a move that was. That was just ridiculously good. And now Lewis Hamilton leading this race 5.7 ahead of Carlos Sainz. And he's, he is a long, long way up the, up the road. Meanwhile, Sainz is also two seconds ahead of Ocon. I think Ocon is, is going to be pretty pretty much pulling away from Max Verstappen as well. Zhou Guan Yu is in fifth, then Magnus in sixth, Vettel seventh, uh, Leclerc eighth, Ricardo ninth, and George Russell rounding out the top ten here. So Lewis Hamilton. A long, long way in front. DRS enabled. Yes, DRS is now enabled. I think now is the time to zoom it through a little bit more. I think Verstappen is going to manage to probably get back past his teammate. There we go. In the, in the same car, same conditions, it's looking like Hamilton is about a tenth of a second quicker than his teammate, Carlos Sainz, over a lap. And, yeah, just the way the safety cars worked out today, you know, that's, that's how it goes. There's not really a lot we can do about it. Unless there's a a late safety car, bit of drama. I don't think we're going to see any more battles, particularly. It's going to be us all the way to the finish now. Lewis Hamilton six seconds ahead of his teammate Carlos Sainz. Meanwhile, Sainz needs to start conserving. a little bit more to give really and here we come then on to the final lap of the race we'll try and give them as much license as possible to essentially do what they want on this final lap let's see if Lewis Hamilton can go and grab another fastest lap here so here we go one more lap Carlos signs in second. It's going to be another Aston Martin 1 2. And for the first time this season, Lewis Hamilton is going to be leading the Drivers' Championship. And that is absolutely huge. We gave him the two stop strategy at the start, the one stopper for signs. It turned into a two stopper for signs, but he would have been, you know, around about where Ocon is had we left him out there on the one stop just with the way the safety cars worked out there's not a lot we could do but it would be fabulous to see Lewis Hamilton win this race with fastest lap so we are low on battery at the moment he's got no yep. more ARS so I so don't think down. he'll have uh, fastest lap here but we'll see flies round so focus on just bringing your tyre temperatures back under control for the moment. 
No. So I don't think it's going to be fast to slap. Caution on the battery. Copy. So here we go then. Lewis Hamilton flying awards. The finish line and another victory here in Baku. It's been a brilliant weekend for both of our drivers. We out Fox Red Bull today. And Lewis Hamilton wins here in Baku. Great result for him. Carlos Sainz is going to come over the line. And he finishes in second place. Awesome race, mate. Very, very good. Fantastic race pace. Esteban Ocon has probably been the faster of the two Red Bulls today. Had a better strategy than his teammate Max Verstappen and Ocon is going to come over the line. He is going to finish in third place. Good stuff from him. He finishes in third. Uh, we're going to have a, a drag race up to the line between Magnussen and Mick Schumacher for fourth and fifth. Vettel finishes sixth. Uh, Verstappen seventh in the end. Russell eighth. Ricardo ninth. And Perez rounds out the top ten. Shame for Joel Guan Yu, who had such a, a good weekend, but uh, just didn't have any tyres there. At the end there, uh, Leclerc finishes 12th, Bottas 13th, Giovinazzi's trying to hold off uh, Norris for 14th and 15th, Albon 16th, Sonoda 17th, and Pierre Gasly, the slowest of all 18 drivers on the day. Very disappointing for the Mercedes man. But today is all about a certain night of the realm. This is a result truly worthy of a champion for Lewis Hamilton. This podium is a true recognition of everyone who's been working so hard for this result. The highly decorated record breaker from Stevenage once again taking to the podium. A lovely occasion as we see all three drivers clearly relishing their moments on the podium. Aston Martin having an extremely good day at the track. I wouldn't be surprised if the team's performance today won them a lot of new fans. After an intense weekend, the team ends in first place in the constructor standings. For the next round in Formula One, the teams are travelling to the circuit Gilles Villeneuve for the Canadian Grand Prix in Montreal. Well, there you go then. Lewis Hamilton uh, wins the uh, Azerbaijan Grand Prix ahead of Carlos Sainz in second place there. Uh, into the drivers then. Lewis Hamilton takes over the drivers. It's championship lead. His fourth victory of the season. Um, his fifth fastest lap as well. As uh, Carlos Sainz only has three. Uh, three, uh, sorry, uh, wins. Max Verstappen is still in third ahead of his teammate Esteban Ocon in fourth, uh, Vettel fifth, Russell sixth, Magnussen in seventh, and Charles Leclerc in eighth. Pierre Gasly, meanwhile, down in 14th in the Mercedes. What a shame for him. Into the constructors, then, we are still leading the way 338 points. Um, and, you know, a long, long way ahead of uh, Red Bull, who are in second. Alpina, a very comfortable third. Ferrari, three points ahead of Mercedes in fourth. Alfa Romeo and Haas in a very big battle for sixth and seventh. So, any development points? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's one for Piastri. Good stuff. And uh, $5.3 million made. So there you have it then. There we have it. It's now on to Canada for the next Grand Prix in the Circuit de Gilles Villeneuve. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a massive thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 Manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.